while you're, you're doing a series of interviews with all of the networks, and while you were on camera, and while you were on microphone, you just spoke to one of your top aides in between the interviews uh, about the situation in Israel and the fact that 14 Israelis uh, have either been shot or killed in an operation. Uh, we want to play a clip of that conversation because it's an extraordinary moment of, of diplomacy. Take, take a look at this. Yeah. It's a hell of a pinpoint operation. It's a hell of a pinpoint operation. Right. It's escalating really, uh, significantly, and it just underscores the need for, for ceasefire. We've got to get over there. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Thank you, John. I think, John, we ought to go tonight. I think it's crazy to be sitting around. Secretary Kerry, uh, when you said it's a hell of a pinpoint operation, are you upset that the Israelis are going too far? And, in fact, do you intend to go back to the Middle East tonight, sir? I think it's very, very difficult in these situations, obviously very difficult, Chris. You have people who've come out of tunnels. You have a right to go in and take out those tunnels. We completely support that, and we support Israel's right to defend itself against rockets that are, uh, you know, continuing to come in. Hamas uh, has started this process of rocketing after Israel was trying to find the people who killed three young uh, pal uh, you know, uh, and one American kid, uh, uh, three young Israeli citizens, it it's disgraceful. And so, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to have this kind of operation. And I reacted, obviously, in a way that, uh, you know, anybody does with respect to, uh, you know, young children and civilians. But war is tough. And I said that publicly, and I'll say it again.